Welcome to the uh, Serbian Internet. This is another episode of Allegedly True Crimes. We talked about Marilyn Manson a few episodes ago, and uh, there's development in that story. Apparently, Marilyn Manson got accused of hawking a loogie and shooting a snot rocket at a videographer at a concert that he was performing at in uh, 2019. He has since surrendered himself to authorities, turned New himself Hampshire. in in New Hampshire. And uh, what is the latest wrinkle in this story? Marilyn Manson's uh, lawyer contends that uh, this uh, lady consented to bodily fluids being thrown upon her by Marilyn Manson, I assume. And I, I just, uh, what, what type of bodily fluids? If you're if you're a photographer or a videographer, and you're you're you know you're covering a rock concert or whatever. Do they actually have contracts, do you think, where you got a science piece of paper saying that at any minute, Axl Rose might whip out his Johnson and just shoot a uh, load on you? I mean, how's this work? What bodily fluids are they talking about? Uh, it's just phlegm and sweat, and that's about Are it. you just assuming it's phlegm and sweat? Saliva. Or do you know for a fact that it only that's covers phlegm and sweat? Phlegm, sweat, saliva. That's what I read in the thing. So you, you don't think that Billboard. semen or blood is covered in this? Or how about bloody semen? <laughs> it's bloody semen, one of the bodily fluids that a photographer or videographer can expect to have dumped on them. Initial here. <laughs> at a concert. Sign there, initial there. <laughs> initial here. Sign there, initial here. And we're going to throw all kinds of bodily fluids on you. It's probably very comparable to a porn contract. It's all boilerplate, right? Is that what they say? It's all, it's all boilerplate. Just sign. Just sign right there. <laughs> right? That is it. No, but okay, I just want to <clears throat> odd because I never heard the term boilerplate. Yeah. I don't know what that means. I, I could understand that uh, they could expect to have sweat and maybe to spit as they're, as they're um, uh, screaming into a microphone. Mm -hmm. That spit, incidental spit, might could land on into them. the air, yes. But I wouldn't expect that it would be so much that there would actually have to be a piece of paper, a contract that you have to sign saying, I expect to get loose. <laughs> Loogies hocked at me and snot rockets shot them on my on my face. I, I couldn't imagine that. But apparently this does exist. And apparently, if we're to believe this lawyer, um, the videographer whose last name I think he said was Flowers? Fountain? The video Fountain. Yeah, the videographer whose uh, who, who, last name was Fountain apparently signed this document, according to Manson's lawyer, I just find this hard to believe. You, are you buying this story? I don't think there's a... Well, they didn't refer to any actual waiver. They just say that she consented. I yeah. Mean, maybe verbal consent? I mean... But I've been to Marilyn Manson shows, and that's what he does. He spits all, he spits into the crowd. Like he throws, all rock stars. He does a lot. He all leaves, rock stars. Throws bottles of water at people. Yeah. Full bottles of water. <laughs> I remember we went and saw... Um, uh, Oz Fest. Yeah. There was a lot of spitting going on there. Yeah. Lots. Of yeah. It. And there was a lot of uh, beer being thrown. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, they were not glass bottles, but they were throwing the red cups, cups. of beer. Yeah. Uh, they were throwing those around. And um, it's a very messy environment. Um, at the same time, I, I find it hilarious <laughs> That Marilyn Manson, who is known for doing disgusting things like this, um, how you would go to videotape a Marilyn Manson show and then be shocked when he does what he's known to do, which is shoot snot rockets, hawk loogies. And, and he's not the only one. Like I said, it's this is pretty much all metal, man. All was, metal. They do this. Trent Reznor does it. Um, you go to any metal show, this is going to happen. Crap like this is going to happen. It's, it's, this is nothing new. It's not like this is not like the exclusive domain of Marilyn Manson, and I think that he's, yes, he's, that's, he's that's true. His good name is getting dragged through the mud <laughs> by this greedy reporter, not reporter, greedy uh, videographer, right? Yes, photographer, videographer. I think it's just ridiculous. Um, what, are you, what are you? What are your thoughts on this? What do you think? You think Marilyn Manson? Uh, you know, it's, it's getting unfairly uh, persecuted in think, the uh, media. Think maybe he goes from show to show. He's like, I'm going to get one of those security people. <laughs> well, or, she's not security. She's a videographer. It's, it's, she's it's, maybe it's like yeah. somebody. It's like maybe it's a security person. Maybe it's a videographer. Maybe it's someone who wants to do an interview. But he's like, I'm going to get him. Oh, like I'm he's just going like from a, show to show. He's like, I'll pick one out. I got you. I got you. Or maybe it's a game the band plays. For, like, for hey, his own hey. amusement. 
you know, hey, why don't you pick one out, Twiggy Ramirez? I'll get that bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. So now you you all uh, you said that if he gets convicted on these charges, his he is looking at what did you say uh, up yeah. to a year, up, up to, to a year. year. And two and and a two thousand dollar fine. Two thousand dollar fine per. I would assume it's probably going to be fines. Yeah. Um, do you think that he has that kind of money? Though I mean, that's not that's 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 a lot, man. He'd have to spend like maybe four thousand dollars for these two charges, a loogie and a snot rocket. That's four th- four grand, man. Oh, from what I understand, people that produce and write their own music, like he has, they make a lot of money, a whole lot of money. <laughs> so you think he's going to be okay? Then? So you're saying, like, even if he's found yeah, guilty. Like, you think that he'll like, be able to just pull his wallet out and say, oh, here you go. Here's that four probably, grand. Yes. You think he's got that walking around well, yeah, money. I think in those top 20 songs that he yeah. had, they were like 400 grand a year. They come in automatically. Man. It's almost as if they should probably scale the penalties based upon your income level. But they don't do that, do they? So, like, let me just backtrack here. If you had your own band and it was just a band that performed locally at bars around here mm-hmm. in South Jersey. And literally, you guys made $50 a night, and the name of your band... Now, you got to think of your own name. You can't... I know what you want to say, because I can read your mind. You want... I know what you want to say, but what would be the name of your fake band? I know what you want to say, but you can't say that. Because <laughs> that's somebody else's fake band. What, Kings of Flynn? <laughs> Kings of Flynn, that's awesome. <laughs> That's not the one I was thinking of. No. But that's well, good. Though. What were you thinking we'll of? We're going Kings of Flem. So you and the Kings of Flem are playing. You get paid like $50 a gig. <clears throat> and you guys work part-time at the gas station. Yeah, these guys don't make a lot of money. If they're, they're going out live, they don't. They make like 100, 100 bucks. Yeah. When they come out perform at like a bar or something. They just come out and do it. They drink for free or whatever. Now, let's say that you, as the lead singer of the Kings of Flem, hawk a loogie at the local newspaper reporter who's covering your latest gig. And then she sues you for uh, assault with your bodily fluids or whatever. And then you go to court and the judge is like, young man, I find you guilty of two, two phlegm assaults, a snot rocket and a loogie, $2,000 offense. Now that's $4,000 of your income. Now to you... Being a member of the Kings of Flem and working at the it's gas station part time, amount. that's a good amount. It might be a quarter of your yearly income, your annual income. It could be. For Marilyn Manson, that's a quarter of what he makes in like an hour of playing, you know, at a gig. He's yeah. probably making like 14 grand an hour, some nonsense. My point being is that I just think that maybe we, <laughs> we as a society need to look at the way we uh, levy fines against people and say, yeah, well, yeah well, your way is more just if they're like, yeah. if, if it is a thing, you hurt them. The, the, yeah. the objective is to correct it. So yes. you hit them in the pocket, hopefully fixes the problem. But yeah. if you're only getting like a $4,000 fine, it's not really much to Marilyn Manson. It's probably got it in his pocket. Yeah. You know, no. like, and also, I I think that this is BS anyway. I think that Marilyn Manson, his case should be thrown out. I don't see... Well, what you didn't mention is what about the, like this uh, Kings of Phlegm? The Kings going, of Phlegm. They're just going around from place to place. And then all of a sudden, somebody hears about, oh, these for the Phlegm on, this is going to be a lawsuit. Then, oh, another lawsuit pops up. You did it at another show. You did it at another venue. You did it every uh, year. Yes, 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 yes. So that $2,000 is exponentially growing and growing and growing and growing. To the point where the Kings of Phlegm might not be able to actually pay the fines and then like will have to go to jail. <laughs> yes, and they'll have to go to jail now. Because it's like you're on yeah, the excessive amount of money they couldn't they would have to yes they would eventually probably serve jail time unless they could pay it off slowly correct correct so I I, I just want to say that I do I feel not feel real think, bad for the kings of phlegm <laughs> I do feel bad for them um, I, I I don't I don't think that um a judge should uh, allow this to go any further I think the judge should dismiss all the uh, charges against Marilyn Manson and say this is stupid. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, if you look at any Marilyn Manson show, video, whatever, you know what you're getting into. And not to go further, like I said, if you look at any metal show, you know what you're getting into. For a videographer or a photographer to not understand that you're going to get spat on, you know, disgusting things are going to happen. This is a civil, civil matter. So yeah. Saying. Only a person, person lawsuit. I'm not saying, I'm just saying that the whole thing is stupid. 
I, I That's all I'm saying. It's just stupid. The lady should have been like this. Oh, God, I got spat on. You know what? I'm not doing these Marilyn Manson gigs anymore. I'm just done. And then if for whatever reason, she I don't even know if she was hired by Marilyn Manson. She's a videographer, which means she's shooting video, right? Was she shooting video for Marilyn Manson for their own like concert videos? I don't know. I don't know what she's shooting video for, but let's pretend she was. If she was a client of Marilyn Manson, then hey, I'm done. I'm done. Why? Why are you done? Because you're you're freaking Marilyn Manson Sp shot a snot rocket at me. It's disgusting. I'm done. Mm -hmm. And then maybe they would have worked it out. So well, here's some money. You okay with that? Yeah. Okay. I'm fine with that. Or if you're not a client, you're just doing this as a hobby or whatever. Well, go find another band to videotape because apparently this is not the band for you to be videotaping. You know what I'm saying? I agree. I mean, I remember going to a Pantera concert. Uh, it was back uh, with Far Beyond Driven. I did not go there to see Pantera. I went there to go see Rob Zombie. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is back when it was White Zombie. So it was White Zombie and it was Pantera in Tennessee. It's back when I was in the Army. Mm -hmm. We all went down there. And I was like, all right, you know, Pantera is okay, but it's not my cup of tea. All right. It's a lot of guys like uh, stomping around, doing the uh, romper stomping stuff, you know, and the, uh, the, 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 uh, mosh pit. the mosh pit. Yes, the mosh pit, right? Uh, so th I think that, I think that they were the headliner and White Zombie opened for them. And once Pantera hit the stage, man. It was just mayhem. It was just crazy, dude. You felt like you accidentally just got swallowed up in the middle of like a skinhead rally. Now, it turns out, believe it or not, that the guys that y'all thought were skinheads, they, they weren't really skinheads. They were just all from Fort Campbell, like I was. So they all had military haircuts, mm. you know. But when you're, you know, you're drinking beer <clears throat> and you're in a heated moment, you're like, oh, my God. Look at all these skinheads. It's like, no, they're just military people like you. <laughs> but it was a weird situation to be in where all of a sudden a mosh pit just forms like all around you. Like multiple mosh pits. Yeah, that's a, there's, but there's only a few that would be like that big. Yeah. Like Slayer, Pantera, Anthrax. Anthrax, because since Caught in the Mosh, the song yeah. Caught in the Mosh, yeah. so definitely. They're going to put up a big time mosh pit. Everyone's going to get hurt. I'm going to mosh pit. I got hurt in there a couple times. Yeah, and that's kind of what I was getting at. So I got knocked down on the ground. That's not that's not Slayer's fault or Pantera's fault. No, 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 no. I'm no not, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying not like saying the same thing. Like not saying it at all. That comes with the thing when you show up at the show. Yes, correct. So you should know. Players, uh, Slayer, Pantera, Anthrax, Marilyn Manson. There's there's going to be incidents, probably some violence. Correct. People spitting on each other. People yes. are, people spitting into the crowd. And it's just all part of the whole thing. Yes. So you can't. I don't see how you can really hold Marilyn Manson overly responsible no. for that. No, no, no. Because you go into these places, you should expect some cert some certain type certain types of experiences. Correct. So. And, and and my whole point was like I got knocked down. I had a miserable experience in that <laughs> mosh pit. Okay. Now I I did I did get rescued. Somebody like they got me up or whatever. But I I took some knocks. But after that, I said to myself, I said. I am not going to actively go seek out any Pantera concerts, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Because apparently this is definitely 100% not my cup of tea. I mean, I had a feeling that, like, all right, it's, it's going to be a borderline thing. I love White Zombie, but it's going to be borderline the Pantera. In most shows, you can, you can keep out of it. It's usually, the mosh pit's not, usually not that big, but, like, Pantera Slayer is gigantic. It's I was like, with a group of outskirts, enthusiastic friends. People get thrown right into friends. people in the outskirts. Yeah, I was with a group of, of enthusiastic friends who were totally, they, they went there mainly for Pantera. I went there mainly for White Zombie. Mm -hmm. So it was like, I, once Pantera came on, they were like, yeah, come on, up here, up here, or whatever. And then, whatever. The, the point is, once you know what to expect, you can make better life choices when it comes <laughs> to the bands that you're going to be uh, videotaping. Oh, the wisdom of Matt Schoen. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, Marilyn Manson, good luck. I'm rooting for you. I think it's absolutely hilarious. And uh, you got anything else to wrap up with the um, Marilyn Manson and the uh, videographer snot rocket escapade? No. <laughs> well, what no. do you think? Do you think that they should dismiss the charges? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're also rooting for Marilyn Manson to be uh, vindicated. And for him of to... Something, yeah, something menial like this, yes. Yeah. 
I don't think this is that serious. Outstanding. All right. Well, good luck, Marilyn Manson. We're uh, looking forward to your uh, your day of freedom, <laughs> your day of vindication. Well, All right. there's more stuff coming. There's more stuff. What do you mean? Well, the other allegations, all the. Oh, oh, <laughs> like the Rose. Mc... No, not Rose McGowan. Uh, the uh, the Rachel. Rachel. The uh, Evan Rachel Wood. Evan Rachel Wood. Yes. Yes. But there's others. So. Uh well. Yeah. We'll see how that comes out. Yeah. Well, what we can only. Marilyn Manson can only, can only be mind, handle minorly, minorly vindicated as of now. Yeah. But one battle at a time, right? Yeah. I'm not going overboard and saying, no, this guy's completely clean and not doing that. <laughs> well, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that now. You what, know what I mean? The battle like, that hey, he's currently facing. loves it. And I'm like, oh, I really love it. The, <laughs> the battle that he's currently <laughs> facing is, is the videographer. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about Evan Rachel Wood's sexual abuse allegations and the other uh, woman who have also alleged abuse against him. Yes. Uh, those cases, are are they actually going to trial or were these what they were, just allegations and then they move on? Was this like a social media allegation or was this a legitimate lawsuit allegation? Uh, I got to look it up there. Okay. I only know, really know the Evan Rachel Wood stuff. All I right. So... Stuff, right? We'll we'll get back to that if there's any developments. Coming out, but yeah. I don't know exactly how many yet. All right, so uh, that's it for um, another episode of Allegedly True Crimes. And uh, have a good one. You got anything else? No. All right.